Hey guys, it's me, Echo Craft. Right now I'm going to check out, I downloaded the demo of the, um, the Cherry Audio uh, Lowdown, which is basically the Moog Taurus pedals, which I used to have. I actually had them, actually it was a friend of mine, so he let me borrow them and I checked them out and I fell in love with them. And that's actually... I probably say the very first synthesizer I ever had. And then I ended up getting a Juno 106. But anyway, um, this is just the demo version. So if you hear some white noise, I haven't purchased it yet. Um, but if you hear some white noise, it's just the demo version. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so here we are, and I'm going to be using my keyboard um, to play this. I actually used to play it with my hands, believe it or not. Um, that's how big they are, too, the original ones. Um, but I'm just going to go up here uh, to the menu, and I'm going to pick some bases. And let's do Heavy Morph. Um, let me turn it down a little, too, because it does tend to get loud. But yeah, so check this out. Um, I'm actually in love with this. And I was looking at the Behringer uh, Taurus, uh, sorry, sorry, the Behringer Toro um, unit, which is basically the same thing without the pedals, uh, only in a hardware version. So let's check it out. Gets those really low notes, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Right attack. Here we go. Whoops. Keep hitting the wrong thing. <laughs> Now, I do know that there are some uh, stuff in here. Let's see. Uh, that's a heavy morph. Let's do another one. Let's do, um, let's do this one here. So right there, that's where you heard the uh, white noise come in on the demo. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I've got to turn it down just a little bit because I am peeking out here. Uh, but yeah, so it's, it's kind of cool. Um, let's see. So let's check it out. I'm going to check out another one here. Um, and then I'll, I'll go in and, and try some uh, really cool stuff. Uh, let's do the mod wheel one. This actually is kind of nice because when I use the mod wheel, got a nice decay on it too let me just turn that down just a little bit the other cool thing is uh if we do the beat knob here uh it'll actually sync things together which is kind of nice so it'll sync the two oscillators a and b and blends them a little bit better Which is kind of nice. 
nice. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, let's bring that decay up a little bit longer. fact that it isn't just uh kept to a certain register obviously like a bass register now i know on the behringer hardware version and on the original taurus pedals obviously you do have a uh you know just like what you're seeing on the screen you do have uh one octave um so i know that we can change the octaves on this um but like um oh there's that white noise again um but i can go I can go way up, um, which is kind of cool. So you can actually do a bass line. So you can go way up like that. Um, you know, if you want to do leads, and I know up on here, there is some things that's, I think it says, yes, yeah, it says leads right here. So, uh... So you could do some some pretty cool leads with that as well, um, which I thought was kind of nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, back to mod wheel again. Let's see. I'll do. Let's do this one here. You turn it down just a bit. <laughs> Again, it goes all the way up. Uh, so, I mean, it does go all the way up uh, in many different octaves, which is kind of cool um, where, you know, the original doesn't do that. Um, and I know, you know, we can, let's, let's throw some glide on there. Let's just, this is kind of cool. That's kind of nice. Um, let's check out another mod wheel one. Let's do wheel up. Let's see where that goes. which is kind of cool because you're actually taking the octave switch right here. Which is kind of cool. Now, it does have a filter cut off here, but it also has a filter cut off here, which is very strange. I don't remember this on the originals. which is kind of cool um and i guess like the way you look at these it's where you would put your feet so i guess yeah to make it louder you'd is because i got little grippy things here i don't really remember that on the originals it's been so long i mean 
geez, we're talking like early eighties. Um, when my buddy let me borrow the thing. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't quite remember that. Um, but yeah, so let's see. Ooh, it gets down low, like sub bass low. And then, of course, this is on variable. So if I switch it, these are the presets. There's only, you know, on the original Taurus pedals, there was only three. Um, so let's see this bowl. Which is still pretty loud. Let me try to turn that down a little. Which I like bowl. It's kind of cool. It's a cool uh, sound. Let's do this one. Let's do tuba. And I bring up the uh, filter. Kind of interesting. Uh, and then we have uh, the last one here, which is just bass. So, ooh. So there you have it. I mean, you probably hear my me hitting the keys. Um, but yeah. So, but I kind of like variable. I kind of like being, you know, I could play the keys also here. So with the mouse. Uh, having it connected to a MIDI device is actually pretty cool. Uh, pushing the envelope. Let's bring that down a little because I'm sure this is going to be loud. nice i mean ooh, just keeps going it's very analogy i mean that's what it's supposed to be um i gotta tell you what i love about cherry audio and i'm not trying to be sponsored by them or anything like that i just fell in love with their software um and compared to other people's prices um like uh well, I don't want to name names, but anyway, I mean, come on, man. This this thing, I believe, is thirty nine dollars, um, if I'm not mistaken. And you know, it is what it is. It's 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 the Taurus pedals. It's bass. It's just a bass synth. Um, doesn't do anything fancy. Uh, there's no arpeggiator or anything like that. It's just bass. Um, but you can. You can play up high in the higher register, but I just, it kills me. I mean, and listen to the sustain on that, you know? Um, you know, let's do, let's do a giant. There's that white noise again for the demo, but. So, I mean, it is what it is. It sounds cool. It sounds, I mean, like I said, for, for $39 compared to some other companies, some other companies, are, you're, they're charging you, you know, I don't know if there's other companies out there that have, um, that have the, uh, the Taurus pedals, but you know, we're talking, you know, uh, $129, $130, $200, $100, uh, for software. Um, which, you know, I get it, you know, the company's there to make money. It's, uh, the, you know, R and D and all that stuff. But I, I will tell you that this sounds amazing. You know, um, another quick demo I'll just do while I, I have this video going is, uh, let's bring this one up. Uh, let's see, bear with me for a second. I'm going to go, hold on. And 
This is another one that I'm interested in. Um, the cat. Again, Behringer has the, the cat. Um, and Behringer has the, 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 the solid module, you know, the, the uh, hardware version of the cat. Um, this thing sounds great, man. And it's software. Uh, there's a couple of different versions of it. I'll just show you. Uh, let's see. If I go in here and let's see if I go to interface, we can change the interface to do the, I guess this is the Mark one. It's got, it's got these kind of like metal sides. And if you look at the, if you look at the knobs, uh, the knobs are definitely different. Um, but if we go back in here and we change that again, I like the wood sides kind of classic. There you go. And this is the, the octave cat. I mean, this thing is cool. Um, let's see. This is called a destroyer. Now, the other thing that's cool about this is that it's got an effect section right here. And this kills me. This is a sequencer. So let's go ahead and we'll just put the sequencer up. We'll stop messing with some of these knobs. And this reminds me, the sequencer, I don't know, but it reminds me of um, the Behringer Edge, the way it works. So we'll hit start. And we can also choose, I believe, how many. It it it's kind of cool, you know what I mean? So you've got all this stuff. Plus, you have over here, you have a whole uh, effects session. We've got dis distortion, phaser, flanger, and chorus, echo, reverb. Um, check out the reverb uh no sorry the echo tape echo is kind of cool ready let's check out a different patch uh oh it also has mpe which i'm excited about i don't have my i don't have my osmos hooked up just yet um to to midi right now because i want to demonstrate that and i will once i buy this because i am going to buy this um but i gotta tell you this is exciting because it does mpe uh but we'll get into that later so let's try um let's see let's do sequences <laughs> Now, the other cool thing is you've got duo, mono, and poly. So I'm going to put this on poly right now. I, 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 I mean, come on. Come on. Seriously. This thing is so cool. Um, and the simplicity of it. That's what I love about this. Um, I'm going to go into the effects section here. Um, and there's the sequencer. And I'm going to go into, let's put some chorus on it. Let's see. Uh, chorus is on it already. I'm going to bring the depth up. There we go. And let's get this echo happening. Come on. I mean, come on. <laughs> this is so cool. It's so much fun. Uh, I'm just going to move it over a little bit. There we go. Um, 
it is so much fun. Um, this thing is like we put a phaser on it. It gets lost with the distortion, I think, a little. See, we get sound effects, classic sound effects. Let's see. And if we do a sequencer with that, It's not such an exciting sound. I get it. Uh, let's try something else. Let's do. So you get your classic sci-fi sounds. Uh, hey, let's do some pads. And this is in poly mode. That sounds amazing. Um, let's go in and I'm going to throw some, a uh, little bit more. I mean, it just sounds great, man. It really does. And then do another one. And I'm not going to go too far into this because, like I said, when I buy this, I want to do a full-blown review on it. I mean, it just sounds so nice. It's so clean. Uh, let's throw a little bit more. Let's do a let's do a a big haul. Let's see. I just think it sounds phenomenal. It really does. Nice simple bass. And change the waveform. reverb to that let's see let's do a plate uh, let's throw some
I like that. It's got a very brassy tone to it. So yeah, man, Cherry Audio kills me. Um, I don't know. Check it out. And like I said, I'm going to be purchasing uh, both of those. Um, I figured I'd download them, try them out. I like them a lot. Uh, the Cat and the uh, Down Low uh, by Cherry Audio. So listen, um, Let's turn off this thing because the white noise is killing me. So anyway, so always stay creative. Check out Cherry Audio stuff. Remember what I said. Stay frosty. Peace.